Yo, this your boy Cheese, philipstudios.com, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to record using my template. First thing you wanna do is open up FL Studio. You can get the template by looking in the descriptions below, and it's a free download. But uh, you gotta look at this video to understand how to record because it can get a little different. Anyway, moving on. Once you open it up, you go to File, Open, and go to wherever you have it down, wherever you downloaded the file at. Me, I got it on my desktop, all right? On the first track, it says everything. I got everything already organized for you. When you bring your beat in, you're gonna put it on track number two, okay? Uh, all vocals that you're gonna record gonna come right here, so you can be able to make sure they don't peak all together. Uh, number five track is your recording track. That's the track you're gonna record on all the time. You're not gonna press record on any other tracks but track five. You're gonna route those recorded tracks to other tracks, and I'll explain that in a second. Uh, then you got your main bus for uh, your artist, for one artist. And these are the tracks that you're gonna be mixing. So this is how I record. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is save as, so you wanna record over your template you know drag the beat in okay listen to it all right so anytime you get a beat off youtube or anything where all y'all be getting your beats from if it's an mp3 you want to go to the beginning of the beat and slice off that little hissing that be at the beginning because that could throw your count off when it come down to mixing your stuff in the later tutorial that i'll show you those plugins that are time sensitive or time synchronized, uh, this is how you can synchronize them. But anyway, when you're dragging your beat, you wanna take a little space off and you wanna blow it up. I'm scrolling on my mouse wheel to blow it up. And you wanna get the edge of it right where it's beginning at. All right? So I right click and cut that out of there. Use this pointer, because this, this is my drag tool. Now just drag that back into the beat file. Boom, so it's gonna replace that. So now, start right at the top. <coughs> So on my downbeat, I want my downbeat to hit at nine. In order to move that and get it on pigs, I want to change my tempo. So here we go. Philipstudios.com. Yeah, yeah. Sue, you a fool for this one. Come. All right, right there. Boom. I want that to hit at nine. So I blow it up. I want that to hit right at nine. It look like I'm on point. So that's 130 beat. Let's check it out and see. Turn on your metro. Metronome. All right, so, so now that's on point. All right, so I got my beat on there. Let's recap. I got my beat on there. I told you that this is everything. Uh, but this is how you put the beat on too. I just double click on it. And this takes it on. You see how it's moving over here on the screen? And you just put it on track two. Uh, oh, I put it on three, two. And it's also right here in the channel rack. You know, but I don't usually add that up. Okay, so now I got the beat on there in place. My microphone is on five. I want to turn my mic on. Okay. Turn your mic on. Where have you got your mic hooked up to your system? Just turn it on right here. I got it muted because it'll mess up, right? You see how it sound when I got it turned on? So I'm not gonna do that. But you won't have yours turned on when you're recording. So anyway, uh, I got that routed to the first track. And I routed to that track by doing, clicking on this track and right clicking on this arrow. And when I do that, it's a route to this track only, okay? So I'm in that track. So I let, okay, let's record this. <clears throat> and I'm a little bit of a neat freak. I like to right click and save my uh, recording files in a certain folder, depending on what orders I'm recording, okay? So keep it, keep your things in track. It'd be good when you like transferring files to other producers if you want to get it mixed and mastered by me, of course. But anyway, the track, the recording track, and remember, it's already going to track one, and you can put uh, effects on this track too, and it won't record the effects in the track. 
it'll just be already on the track like you mixing it. But I like to do that for some artists because it makes them feel comfortable when they can hear the reverb and, you know, some compression, take some of the highs or the lows out of the vocals, and it really sound almost mixed to them while they're recording. And that is, of course, if your computer can handle it. But if not, you know, my tutorials for those who really can't handle it but still sound like something, okay? So, boom. Uh, I, I arm my track by left-clicking on the record button. But nothing won't record if you don't have both record buttons recording, okay? So now, I just go to in the place of the uh, song where I want to go on the timeline. I go to the timeline and place the pointer where I want to start recording it. In this case, I'm starting at the beginning. And I just push record. And I'm recording, and I'm recording. <laughs> Philipstudios.com Two, you a fool for this one. Okay, so boom. That'll be my vocals if I didn't have my thing muted. But my vocals will be on there. Alright, so let's say I wanted to do ad libs or stabs or something. Uh uh, hold on. First of all, I'll let myself hear that. Let's hear it. Let's say I didn't like that. I didn't like that take. Now nah, T's do that over. Okay, that's easy. I'll just right click on it, make it disappear. On my track again, my recording track, and press record. <clears throat> I'm recording, I'm recording. All right, so then we let the artist hear it. Uh, they were like, yeah, that was tight, I like that. All right, cool. Let me do doubles, all right? You want to do doubles? Cool. I go to this next track, right click on it, right to this track only. So now it's on my double track. It's on track number nine now. Go to my number five track, was my record track. Press record. Uh. I'm recording, I'm recording, I'm recording, I'm recording. I'm recording, I'm recording, I'm recording, I'm recording. So now I got both tracks on. Now I got both tracks on. There. And all I did was just right click on this to unsolo all the other tracks. Okay? So now I can hear both of them going at the same time. Once again, I didn't like that staff. I delete that. Go to uh, left click on this, make sure this recording is recording, and record. All right, they like that. Okay, cool. They want to do another track. What you got to do? Right click on the next track, next track over, route to this track only, press record. But it ain't going to start unless you press it up here. But they want to start over here somewhere, so let's start it over here somewhere. <laughs> cool because you see it's recording but it's not recording because I ain't press both record buttons. Both of them need to be red or you ain't recording. So I'm just basically listening right now. Alright cool. I want to start recording. I want to start recording so I'm going to press record. Both That's already record. I'm going to push play. Alright. And that's how you record using my template. Uh, leave me a comment if that was helpful. Uh, this is my first tutorial, so uh, give me that little room. But uh, if I need to explain it again in more detail, I will. Uh, like I said, leave a like, comment, and subscribe.